want you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is the place for miracles. And I welcome you today with all my faith and all my prayers. I'm in the midst of the Abundant Life prayer group. We have about eight of our prayer partners here in our TV studio. The rest are upstairs, uh, ready to receive your call at 918-495-7777. We just reached a new level, a new plateau of calls. As you may have heard me say, the prayer group was founded back in 1958. And as of about a week or so ago, we, we received our 29th million phone call. We've had 29 million phone calls for prayer in all of these years. 918-495-7777, or you can uh, uh, go online, richardroberts.org slash prayer and send your prayer request. Uh, Margaret is in Tampa, diagnosed with cataracts, and she, uh, uh, called in for a prayer for prayer for healing and now she's been back she's been examined for over an hour does not need to have the cancer or excuse me the uh, the cataract surgery and it's been canceled and she is praising God and we are praising God with her hallelujah if you have any need of healing in your eyes just like Margaret did in the name of Jesus I send the word to you I send the word for healing for your eyes I rebuke the cataracts just like I prayed over Margaret and I believe God for those cataracts to disappear in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Sarah is up in St. Paul, Minnesota and was experiencing kidney failure. And she called uh, for prayer. We went to prayer for her. And now uh, the doctors are saying her kidneys are functioning 100% and is in zero failure. And she is praising God. Now, if you have any kidney problem in the authority of Jesus' name right now, I come against it. I rebuke the attack against your kidney, whatever it is. And I believe God for you to be healed in the authority of Jesus' mighty name. If you need further prayer, call us at 918-495-7777. James says, uh, I received pain or healing, I should say, in my knees and ankle when you prayed. Uh, Christine was listening to one of my phone calls. Uh, the last one I did last Saturday night, I, I do a phone call every Saturday night Hundreds of people are on that call. Information is on our website. Uh, she was on the call, the last one I did, and um, uh, I was in great pain, she said, in my chest, in my abdominal area, very dizzy. But when you prayed on that phone call, all the pain and the discomfort stopped. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Now, you may not know, I do a live healing call, and it's a, you can call, uh, the number to call is on our website, richardroberts.org. I do it every Saturday night at 11 o'clock Eastern time, 10 o'clock Central time, every Saturday night, no matter where I am in the world. When I was up in Canada recently, I did it in Toronto. I've done it in Africa, I've done it in Korea, I've done it in Singapore, I've done it in India, I've done it in Canada, I've done it in Guatemala, in, uh, in uh, Nicaragua, I've done it every place I've been, all, every Saturday night. Uh, this is Roger and uh, you know, we have lots of uh, testimonies and prayer requests concerning cancer. Uh, many people diagnosed with cancer needing prayer. After three years of fighting two different cancers, after enduring chemotherapy and the radiation and all that, that came along with it, the doctors have cleared me. I've gained some weight back, my hair is back, I'm walking a lot, my appetite is good. Thank you for your prayers. Well, thank God we could pray and also thank God for the doctors. Praise God, it's a total healing and I give glory and honor to God. Now, if you've been diagnosed with cancer in the authority of Jesus' name, I rebuke it now. Cancer, come out in the name of Jesus. And thank God for the good work of the doctors. Thank God for the prayer. Uh, the Bible says they that are sick need a physician, but also the Bible also says in James, the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. So I'm praying over you in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to understand something today. You may have heard me say this before, but there is no distance in prayer. And there is no distance in the timing of it. And I want to prove that to you by taking you over to Denmark in Northern Europe, 
up in the Scandinavian area uh, to a man by the name of Aj, who was watching some years ago, watching a couple of years ago, watching a video class that I was teaching. And I gave a word of knowledge during that class. Now he watched it several years after I did the video and he was totally healed. He was in Denmark, I was in Tulsa. This demonstrates not only there's no distance in prayer, but also no distance in time. You know, people say, well, well you know, what about the Bible? Well, the Bible was pre-recorded. So I wanna take you to Denmark. Now he did this video on his home computer. And if you have a testimony, you could do the same thing. You do it on your video, uh, or do a video on your, on your, uh, your, your uh, laptop or on your smartphone, and you could send it in like Aj did. Now he's thousands of miles away, and yet he received a healing. Just watch this. Last year in uh, April, I began to, uh, to get some uh, pains in my lower back. And in June um, last year, you know, I couldn't, uh, suddenly I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. And then I had to get to the doctor and immediately after visiting the doctor, um, he hospitalized me. And um, at that point, they found out I was infected with uh, Staphylococcus bacteria in, in my back spine. And, uh, you know, that uh, cost me uh, one month in hospital and followed by additional two months of uh, heavy medication. And after this medication uh, stopped, I still had some pain in uh, my joints, in my skeleton. And uh, it was very, very uh, hard. But, um, you know, I was, I was been searching for healing uh, and asking God to, to, uh, to intervene in my life, to, to, to take away those pains, because he has said so, uh, that he will do it. For some time I have been, um, you know, searching websites for evangelists around the world to see what happened in the Christian world around. And um, you know, um, everybody had heard about all uh, Roberts, and uh, you know, then I found um, his workplace and saw that uh, that uh, Richard Roberts he has uh, taken over now. And um, you know, then I, I link up uh, on uh, Facebook and um, he sent a message out. I think for one or two months ago that he had uh, some uh, free uh, involvement teaching called the SOS that uh, all robots. And then, um, you know, I, um, I went into this website and, uh, you know, got this uh, free teaching. And there was uh, this uh, session also called The Anointing of the Holy Spirit, which was the first, first uh, teaching I was uh, looking at. And uh, in part two, we, uh, I think about 10 minutes and 50 seconds, uh, he just stopped and looked into the camera and he said that someone has been healed uh, from pain in his right hip. There's someone else online watching. You have a problem with your hip. Now, that, this person could also be here. Uh, you have a problem with your right hip and you're being healed right now in Jesus' name. If that's you, make contact with us. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, I have heard a lot of uh, words of knowledge uh, during my time as a Christian. But this particular sentence I was uh, listening to, and when he stopped, my pain was gone. I was very, very surprised. My first reaction was that God, He has finally spoke. He finally spoke a word directly to me. This word was for me. And I was surprised. I was surprised. I was surprised that I was healed. Yes, I was healed. But, you know, afterwards, um, I found out that this uh, message from the uh, Richard Roberts was recorded before April 2011, so it's more than two years old. Uh, that was something that uh, spoke to me, that the words written down from many, many years ago were still working today. Now, Lindsay, he was all the way in Denmark. Yep. Now, you've got Danish blood in you. That's from a five-year-old. I five year do. Old. Copenhagen, Denmark. Yeah. That's my, my part, part grandfather. Yeah. 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 And, yep. and Lindsay, yep. he, he was watching a video that I had done several years before. Mm -hmm. It proves that there's not only no distance in prayer, but there's no time in prayer. You, you, know, you read the Bible written 2,000 years ago. You can receive healing. That's exactly right. You know, the Bible is the Bible. The Word of God is the Word of God. There's so many things in the Bible that I think are remarkable. If you sit down and analyze, I mean, seriously, take a good look at the way the Bible is written because there's so much about it being, um, you know, in the beginning. 
And then you've got so much of it that was recorded uh, prophetically, meaning here's what's to come, for example, Isaiah. And then you go into the New Testament and you have a lot of words like now faith is, but then you see something that I find to be the, the absolute most interesting timeline of the entire Bible itself, ACTS, the book of Acts, Genesis, or, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. And they're the Acts of the Apostle, but what's interesting about the Acts of the Apostles is this, there's no logical ending. And it's not because act it's not over. or acted. <laughs> it's not over. It's a continuation. If my dad were here, he would say, because it's not over. Because it's not over <laughs> until it's over. And it's not over. That's exactly what he would say. <laughs> and then it talks about greater works. Now think about this prophetically. John. Shall you do because I go to my father? Mm -hmm. So you see the book starts in the beginning. Then it goes through current events. Then it goes through prophetic events. Then it goes back to current events when Jesus walked on the earth. Then it goes back into Jesus cutting a new covenant with his shed blood. Then it looks for, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> one more, <coughs> thank you, <laughs> sorry. Then it goes forward with the Acts of the Apostles and it continues with greater work shall you do. And the revelation, what's coming? <laughs> the Bible is awesome. If you study history and you want to just look at a book historically, oh my goodness, the Bible is such a historic book. But how about if we took that book and did what we're supposed to do with it and make it a continuation of healing? You know, I shouldn't have had a pretzel <laughs> <laughs> prior to well, me Well, you may have just eaten a pretzel, but let me tell you, you look so nice today. Thank you very much. You're in your fall colors. You, you do know that I'm going to go back great. and have more pretzels. I, I know you. I know you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, just, g just give me a thought here. Mm -hmm. If you've had a healing testimony, why don't you consider doing what Aj in Denmark did? Yeah. Why don't you sit down with your laptop, yeah. you know, put it in your kitchen, put it in your living room, get a fireplace behind you or a bookshelf or your kitchen counter or whatever, and, and set it up or, or on your smartphone mm -hmm. and do a video like he did and send it to me and let us share it with the world. Let us, let us show that God is a live God. He's not a dead God. If you think about his testimony as well, think about this logically. He didn't say, Lord, I'm going to go straight to Richard Roberts. I'm going to expect a miracle because I knew all about Oral Roberts and my healing testament. No, he was searching. And watching a class that I was doing. And watching a and class. By the way, by the way. Oh, by the way. I'm doing some new classes in the Richard Roberts School of Miracles. Oh, which my goodness. We'll be talking so about exciting. real soon, okay? Very soon. So th Very those of you who are really enrolled, exciting. and we have thousands that enrolled in it now, I've got some new classes coming up. We'll be telling you more about that. So if you think about what happened to him, he was searching. Now, the Bible is very clear about the steps of a righteous. It doesn't mean self-righteous. It means the steps of a person in right relationship with God are ordered. They're ordained of That's God. Right. Think about this. Turns on his computer. And before he turns it off, the man is healed. You see, God has ordained our step. Why? Why did that happen? You want my personal opinion? Yep. My personal opinion is because he was stretching out his faith. He turned it on. He listened. He paid attention. He stretched out his faith. He expected a miracle. And I believe those were all steps of a good man seeking out the righteousness of God. And what happens? It was as even like Abraham, it was counted unto him as righteousness. I believe when we stretch out our faith, we may not have our uh, perfect lipstick on, or we may not have our perfect outfit on, or we may not have our hair done perfectly. Or we may not have perfect answers to perfect theological questions. But however, there's a word that's, that's such an exciting word that Peter used in the Bible. And Peter was so amazing. And yet he was so, um, such a little stinker. <laughs> and Peter said, nevertheless, Lord, at your word. If we'll get into an atmosphere of I don't have this or I don't have that, you'll never get to the nevertheless. Nevertheless, let's just, let's just think about that right now. At your word, Lord, what did he say? He said he came to give us life and life more abundantly. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. And you know, if you'll just get into that, nevertheless, I might have pain today, I might have lost this today, no job, no this, no that, okay because there are a lot of stuff, there are lots and lots of things going on right now that we can say, wow. But instead, let's go nevertheless at the word of God, let's expect a miracle. 
So I pray for you for a mm -hmm. nevertheless prayer, a nevertheless moment right now, that you take everything that you've been through, Amen. everything that you're going through, all of your failures, all of your shortcomings, all of your, I don't know how I got in this mess, but I'm in it. Or you may not even know anything but pain and say, what am I gonna do with it? In the name of Jesus, I pray this is your nevertheless moment, that at the name of Jesus, as the Bible says, everything else is supposed to bow. I pray for sickness to bow, sin to bow, fear, torment, worry, anything that's unlike God to come out, to bow, and to be no more. And I pray for the healing power of God to come into your life right now, Amen. right now, right this right moment. Now. Doesn't matter how it got there, I am praying for it to leave. For you to be healed and whole and delivered, and for you to be set free and made completely whole in every area of your life, in Jesus' yes, yes, name. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Thank amen. you, thank you, thank you for that. And I have something very special to offer you in a moment, but first, Jordan is coming to sing. I am leaning on you, Jesus, with all my longing laid before you. Lindsay's latest online magazines at richardroberts.org. The issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts are loaded with encouragement from God's life-giving word. 
They feature inspiring articles from Lindsay, teachings from Richard, oral and other special guests, and delicious recipes to try in your kitchen. Just go to richardroberts.org to read the free online issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts. That's richardroberts.org. Praise God. Well, I have something special to offer you. You may say, well, Richard, there seems to be something that's blocking the miracle that I need in my life. Well, I have a little book that I've written. It's called Blessing Blockers. And there could very well be something that's blocking your miracle. And I want to help uncover whatever that is and help you to remove that blessing blocker out of your life. It's, it's not a big book, it's a little book. Blessing blockers is something in the way of your breakthrough. Now to receive this, all you need to do is to uh, go to richardroberts.org slash bookstore or call the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777. It's free. I'd like to give it to you. And also you can go to our website, uh, richardroberts.org and you can download this very special blessing blocker. Say that quickly. Blessing no. blocker <laughs> checklist. No. You can download this, all kinds of scriptures and how to get into a position to receive the miracle after the blessing blocker has been removed. So to get this, just simply, it's a, it's a download, it's a PDF. Uh, you can go to richardroberts.org and do that. And also richardroberts.org slash bookstore for the book. 918-495-7777 is the Abundant Life Prayer Group. I pray and believe this will be a blessing to you. It's my gift to you this month and I praise God. And also, when you call, leave your prayer request. Yes, Let us sure. continue to pray. That's one thing we absolutely love to do. When you call, if you want to leave us your prayer request with the prayer partners because we do get those and we do love to pray. It's our privilege to get to pray and lift up names, needs, people, you know, lift that up before the Lord. I think that's important. In addition, I want to give you an opportunity today to uh, support this ministry. Every gift, every donation, every time you sow an offering into this ministry, you're not only helping Lindsay and me and our ministry to go around the world, but you are setting yourself in position to receive back from the Lord. When you, when you sow, when you give unto God, He says He'll open the windows of heaven. He'll pour you out a blessing so much so there's not enough room to receive it. And He will rebuke the devourer, the devil, for your sake. Now, in the coming days, I'll be doing a pastor's conference in Kashmir. Mm -hmm. That's a, a very little visited place in the world. It's a troubled area, Lindsay, but God's opening <laughs> doors. And uh, when, when people give into this ministry, they help me do things like that all over the world. And we, you know, we, we really, really, really love what we're doing. I mean, I don't know how we can say it. I don't know how we can demonstrate it, but we love what we're doing. We love to get to preach. We love to get to pray. We love to take, uh, you know, who would have thought Zoom meetings, like Zoom, what does that mean? You know, honestly, I, I still call it Skype. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to stuff like that, but <laughs> we get the privilege of taking the gospel into places that perhaps other ways we couldn't do that. We couldn't take it there. You've done it in India. You've done it in Pakistan. You've done it just countless places. I was able to do one that was translated into French. That was a little bit tricky, but I had a great time doing it, knowing that a French speaking area was going to hear the gospel and be prayed for. So we encourage you not only to believe for us to be able to do that. Wahoo, thank God, but believe for you to be able to do whatever it is God's called you to do, for you to be able to succeed in whatever it is that you're doing. If it's parenting, I pray for God to allow you to succeed. If it's teaching school, if it's you know ministering to somebody else, I really believe that is when we sow into the lives of other people, we have a right to expect God yes. to honor His Word. So as you're sowing, expect God to take that and multiply it back. And I'm just gonna quote Bible here. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Now that's Luke now, 6, 38. That's, that's the kind of miracles that I believe realistically that we're going to have to be seeing in these, I'm gonna call it last days. I believe that when you look at the price of gas, you don't have to flip out. Richard and I were talking about it. We drive by a gas station pretty much every day that we're going to work. And one day we watched it, was it 40 cents? We, we literally watched it go up, boom, 40 cents. And I said, well, that was fast. I mean, wa watching the sign flip. So, you know, stuff like that, this is the way the world is. 
But the Bible is very clear that God honors his people. He is not honoring us according to the price of gas. He's not honoring us according to the price of tea. He's honoring us according to us honoring his word. And I believe as we do his word, we have, we have every Bible right to expect we a do. miracle. So I want to encourage you, expect a miracle today. And, and order this book, Blessing Blockers, is something in the way of your breakthrough. Just simply go to uh, richardroberts.org slash bookstore or call the prayer group at 918-495-7777. And also to get the Blessing Blocker checklist, uh, download it, it's a PDF, it's free. And just go to richardroberts.org and you can order this as well and download it. And I believe it'll be a blessing. Now, Father, just like Aj proved over in Denmark, there is no distance in prayer. God's right here where I am. He's right there where you are. In the authority of Jesus' name, I send the healing word of God to you. No matter what it is, no matter what's come against you, if it's physical, if it's spiritual, if it's financial, if it's emotional, if it's in your family or your business or your job or your ministry or some other area of your life, in the authority of Jesus' name, I send his word to you. According to Psalm 107 verse 20, which says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I send the word of God to you and I believe God for a healing, a healing in every area of your life. Satan, you take your hands off of God's property. You loose every man and woman watching Lindsay and me on this program today. I pray over you, I believe God and I am expecting a miracle in Jesus' mighty name. And if you need further prayer, the Abundant Life Prayer Group is ready to receive your call at 918-495-7777. You want to do that again? Yes, I do. Okay, 918-495-7777. You like that? <laughs> I do like that. And I want, to re I want to remind you of something that he said. I want you to go to richardroberts.org and see all the different things that we're doing. We've got the brand new Healing Network up hey, and your running. Your program, Bookmark, is We've on We've got it. a new program called Bookmark. I do that with a friend of mine, Melissa Lee. We've got our Make Your Day Count program. My live program on Thursdays. Live healing. Don't miss the live healing prayers on Thursdays. I pray that's a blessing. 11 o'clock Central Time, live on Thursdays. But in addition, yes. If you don't have the Healing Network, go on online to our website. Thehealingnetwork.com, simple. And in addition to that, be watching for brand new, brand new classes in the Richard Roberts School of Miracles. Lots coming up, and I believe they will be a blessing <laughs> in your life. We're out of time for today. God bless you. See you next time right here on The Place for Miracles. Bye-bye. Have you checked out The Healing Network? This 24-hour network is all healing all the time. The network has new original programs like Bookmark with Lindsay and Melissa, Richard's live healing prayers, and also his latest class from the School of Miracles. The Healing Network is also your resource for classic Oral Roberts sermons and current programs like The Place for Miracles and Make Your Day Count. Just look for The Healing Network in your favorite app store. For more information, go to richardroberts.org slash thehealingnetwork.